Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here, and welcome to my tutorial on how to build a pirate ship house, or just a ship house, boat house, whatever you guys want to call it. It's really, really cool. You've got your upstairs over here, you got some beds, you have the steering wheel, which doesn't look like a steering wheel, please give me ideas for that. And we have chests, and you've got your cannons here, of course they aren't for realsies, but you can make them if you'd like. And there's some storage down here, you got furnaces, more storage, crafting, and of course an entrance to your boat. Let's get to the tutorial. Alright, so to start off on your boat house, you're going to need the materials found in my hotbar below, and you're going to start off by making a shape exactly like this out of oak wood planks. You can go ahead and pause the video here and make that shape. Again, this is just for reference, so if you didn't pause it, go back there and pause it. And the next step is to go ahead and just layer your ship up. So what I mean by that is you want to break the corners to where they aren't rounded. You don't want, you don't want to round it like that. You want to break the corners so it's sort of sharper. And we're going to do this all around until we get four higher than we are at the base. So basically, I'm going to go ahead and repeat the same step four times. You kind of get how it goes. And you just do the same thing. Pretty boring to watch, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And come right back and show you what you should end up with. And I did sort of tell you wrongly, you only build it up three higher than the base. So this is the base right here. And you just build up one, two, three layers. It should end up with a shape similar to something like this. Shouldn't be too far from it, and the body should look like this. So now you want to take your spruce wood slabs, and you want to place them as the flooring in here. So just like this, all the way around. And then boom, now you have your floored boat. So now the next step is to go ahead and find a good center point. So I'm going to pick this right here, and we're going to take our oak wood logs, and we're going to build them up to a good height. I'm going to build mine up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven up high. And over here, I did mine a little bit higher, so let's probably go 8, 9, 10, and 11. And how you build this uh, sail is actually, you know, I'm not good at sails, but I did sort of design one over here. So you want to go 1, 2, 3, and then 4, and starting on the 5th block, so 1, 2, 3, and 4, and then 5. You want to stick it out 2, or 3, from each edge. So 3 this way, 1, 2, 3 this way. And then you want to do sort of the same thing over here. And you want to make this three. And then you're going to do the top two, like this. I know I didn't explain that very well, but it's really not that hard, so I think you guys can handle that. And now we're going to put our fences right here. We're going to put a slab on top. And of course, we're going to go on this side and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put one right here, one right here, and yes, upside down stairs. And then some slabs, and you'll end up with something that looks like this, and I think that looks like a pretty dang good sail. So now, on the base of the boat, we are going to bring these one up higher so you don't fall off the boat. Never good if you fall off of, the, uh, off of your boat, you know. It's just not a good idea. And in the center here, we're going to break all of these. And yeah, not that one. I said not that one. <laughs> and then we're going to put a trapdoor so that they all open like that. And it really doesn't matter. Personal preference. I'm going to put two facing this way and then two facing this way. So I'm going to choose this side to have the ladder. So we're going to do one, two, and then you can just boom hop up and you have the ladder these ones are just sort of for jumping down real quick you don't necessarily have to put a ladder on each one of those it'll get a little bit annoying so the top end of this as you can see this is this high so we're going to go up one two blocks so one and then two and then we are going to gradually from this point go up to that so we're going to have two slabs on this block and we're going to go up one half slab higher and then of course one half slab higher and we will get up to a gradual point like that and then you can just put some stairs right here and we can do sort of where the captain's wheel would be. I don't actually add a wheel in this build. I don't really understand why you'd have a wheel unless you just really, really want one. But yeah, I'm going to grab the interior materials and the exterior materials. This is the base of your boat and I will come right back. Also, guys, before I forget, we are going to go ahead and lay down some torches here. So let's just go ahead and do that. You can do the same thing I'm doing here. It doesn't really matter. Do whatever you'd like. I'm going to light it up like this, and we're going to do three right here, and then down here, of course, where there isn't a ladder, you can do them right there, do one right there, and do one right there, and we should be good for down here. Okay, let me grab those materials and come right back. 
Okay, so these are the materials you're going to need for the exterior of this build. And before I forget, I am going to go ahead and build the entrance to this boat. So just go ahead and break two blocks like this. And then we are going to, let's see, what, what can I grab real quick? I'll grab the crafting table back. We're going to build this one, one down like this. And we're going to put two blocks right there. We're going to take a ladder, place it right there. And we're going to do trapdoors right there and right there. And this will add a nice little entrance. You can just float over to it and hop on up. So let me go ahead and grab that crafting table back and let's just put it where it rightfully belongs. So I'm going to just place two right here. Uh, you can really do whatever you'd like. And I'm going to put a chest right here and a chest right here. And you could really, you, you could put a steering wheel right here, I suppose. Um, you could take an item frame. I'm just going to give you some ideas here. And you could take what would look like a steering wheel. Um, hmm. You know, I'm not really sure what would look like a steering wheel. So, huh. I'm just going to use an activator reel. You know, I mean, like, it could be, but it also could not be, you know. Oh, it can go either way. And I'm going to put a bed right there, a bed right there. I'm going to put a bookcase. And now we are going to head below and do this. So I like to put storage on these little things right here. Gives you a nice area for storage. And if you don't like those little light glitches, you can always go over here and fix them. Really, really easy to fix. And I like to do the same sort of storage thing over here. Although we can fit two chests right here. Double chest. Ooh, it does not like double chests. And you can just basically add storage wherever you'd like. And then I'm going to put a furnace right here. Actually, not right there. My bad. Right there, there, and there. And you can just throw a furnace down wherever, really. But I'm going to put three furnaces there. And I'm going to put these on top so it doesn't look completely weird. And now I'm going to grab some materials to make this place look pretty and come right back. So I decided I'd just sort of do this on the fly with you guys so that we can make this build look as pretty as possible. So I am going to take some fence. I think I'm going to put fence there and then bring these one down just to add some more depth. And I think we are going to do a crafting table down here for sure because there is no crafting table. And I think we could just replace a couple of those with crafting tables and it should look good. We could even, you know, put a trapdoor. Ah, no, not right there. <laughs> no random trapdoors. But on the sale, for sure, I want to come up here and do something. So I think maybe right there, and right there, and there, and there. Yeah, that'll, that'll look good. And we definitely need some trapdoors here because and I'm not just, like, joking around, but we do need something on this side. Something good. And we could do maybe one on the end there, and one on the end there. And, okay, let me think of something for this uh, upstairs and come right back. So I've decided to build some cannons here because those are going to look really, really awesome. So I'm going to put cannons on each side in the same spot. So we're going to break that. And then we're going to break that. And we're going to put the stair, stair. And we can do something like that. And then I'm thinking we're going to take a slab. And we are going to throw a slab down. Three like that. Three like that. And the same thing on this side. And then we can always put a chest next to them. So it looks like you have storage, and we can put some sort of, I don't know, magma cream just for play. Just throw in some magma cream. Why not? And of course, you could set up little archer towers here or whatever. I don't know. It's your chip, so do as you please. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, leave a thumbs up. This is my first ship. I hope to do a couple more maybe soon, maybe not soon. Not really sure. But thank you guys so much for watching. It really means a lot, all the support you guys are giving me. And I really hope you guys continue to subscribe and like. It really, really helps me out. So if you'd like to see the link to my Twitter, that is in the description below. You can tweet me the pics of your builds, and I'll retweet them, favorite them, all that fancy schmancy stuff. Again, subscribe to see more tutorials like this and more. Please leave a like. It shows me you like the video. If you dislike it, tell me why in the comments. I don't really care. That's your decision, and it's perfectly okay with me. But it doesn't matter. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.